The time for just wishing is past. Time for doing, that's the time right now. Time for acting on your dream. It's time for you to look within yourself and decide that I'm in charge of my destiny. I'm in charge here. But do you ever hear people say they are eager to live a better life? If they really desired change, they wouldn't spend their evenings just watching TV and wishing they were doing something more. Well, because you have to judge a tree by the fruit it bears, not the fruit that it talks about. I'll be happy when I just... Just what? You've got to be a dreamer. You've got to see the future finished in advance. Happiness doesn't come from big pieces of great success, but from small advantages hammered out day by day. They have faith for everybody else but themselves. They encourage everybody but themselves because they do not know that they have what it takes. It's like you have to save your own life. Nobody's going to be able to save it for you. So we have to do what we have to do, no matter what it is. I want you to know, I don't care how far-fetched it might appear to be to your family members or your friends, or even to you. What you're going through right now is a discovery moment. What you will realize is that you are greater than your circumstances. It is a discovery moment. What you'll realize is that you're more powerful than you can ever begin to imagine. The burdens you bear, these are discovery moments. Not moments where you discover how bad life is, but rather how strongly you have been created. You have to know within yourself that I can do this even if no one else sees it for me, I must see it for myself. Powerful people recognize potential in people. And people of potential know power when they see it. I want to share something with you that has changed my life. No matter how bad it is, or how bad it gets, I'm going to make it. Say that to yourself every day. A man doesn't keep pace with his companions. Perhaps he's listening to the beat of a different drummer. Let him dance to the music that he hears, however measured or far apart. This is the moment that you find out who you really are. Don't be afraid. He said, but imagine, if you will, being on your deathbed. And standing around your bed, the ghost of the ideas the dreams, the abilities, the talents given to you by life. And there they are standing around your bed looking at you with large angry eyes saying we came to you and only you could have given us life. The question is, if you die today, what ideas? What dreams, what abilities, what talents, what gifts will die with you?